Hello everyone, Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 1065. Directed by Hazuki Yomoya and supervised by Hirotaka Ito and Shike Fumi Shengaki. For their second ever episode on the series, Omoya is doing the board on their own completely compared to 1055 where she only did half of it, which will give us a deeper look at her style as a director more than before, and when she has great animators to boot, judging by the preview, it's possible this will end up being a shockingly good start to the end of the fight with Big Mom. <laughs> This episode covers the entirety of chapter 1038 and pretty much keeps the flow intact and doesn't really change or add much in the way of filler, except for small extra stuff here and there that doesn't really change much of the bigger picture. And while overall there's certainly a lot more dead air in places that I'm comfortable with which can lead to some scenes feeling awkward at times, the more palpable atmosphere that Omoyo sets up generally works really well for this episode as a whole and especially some key scenes, and for the most part she does the content justice for about as well as the young director with little experience can. There's definitely a few things maybe missing here and there because of them learning, it's certainly not a perfect adaptation due to that, because in the hands of someone more experienced it maybe would have hit better in certain areas, but that doesn't change it being rock solid as a start as we see it now. Omoya's storyboard can teeter on being fairly normal to being quite impressive just like the likes of Inazuka and co. Because while most dialogue is somewhat lifted from the manga or mostly static, for a lot of key moments in action she really does come up with some really cool ideas and staging to give them a unique and fun look. Whether it be Zoro's encounter with the Grim Reaper being more terrifying than the manga, Izo's intense and dire shakeup with some of Kaido's goons, or the general action with Law and Kid. But the former sometimes relying on the manga more than usual, but when it does think of something cool, it goes all in with it. Largely being helped by the fantastic snappy animation and timing from Yu Yoshiyama for a good chunk of it, that makes it feel as electric and hard hitting as it should for these incredible attacks. Throw in some more fun bits of animation for these aforementioned bits and more, and 1065 isn't spectacular, but it's pretty good all the same. I've obviously said before that Amoya is only just growing as a director, so I won't repeat myself, but there's definitely a lot that she excels at already and a few areas that she can definitely work on as well that make me very excited to see what her future work on the series ends up becoming if it's already solid like this week. Next week though, we're entering another recap as Henry Thurlow's upcoming episode needs a bit more time in the oven, so we'll break up and reconvene here back in two weeks to see the hopefully great continuation of this fight. Anyways guys, it's it for now, I'm Skippy, and it's even funnier now that this isn't Brooke.